welcome to pavitra laptop care see i have received lenovo legion the model number is legion it's 81v4 lenovo legion y7000 2019 1050 okay it's a 150 watt i think so this one so it's a special motherboard actually special case why it's a special case i will explain you one by one see here is the motherboard power button and model number is ey515 ey517 ey519 and ey520 nmb701 okay why this is a special i'll tell you this one i have received because of chipset issue this processor has gone so we need to replace the motherboard that is the customer complaint actually where he showed that person challenged nobody will solve this problem and you need to replace the motherboard okay anyway we will take it as a challenge and we will check what will be the issue we can solve it or not that is the secondary things we can identify exact problem and what are the possibilities we will do okay this one i will diagnose and through the schematic i will explain you what was the problem and what will be there hmm? what will be the solution hi i couldn't make a video on the troubleshooting of nm iphone b701 motherboard which i showed previously because customer was so urgent and he was uh, thinking to take a new laptop so i have written <coughs> it in a repaired condition or non repaired condition that i will explain you so mistakes you people also will do so please i'll suggest after the, uh, seeing this video please don't do those kind of mistakes okay so okay what was the issue and what i did exactly what i did so those things i'll explain through the schematic see this is the schematic of the particular motherboard <coughs> but the model little bit vary out of uh, three four models uh, that one was uh, 520 i think so uh, okay in that what was the issue i checked all coil impedance okay first i checked all coil impedance was good so there was no issue with the coil sections and second thing is because of that confident so i gave a supply the main supply then i found an error what kind of error that the v in section it was coming out only 5 volts 6 volts that kind of uh, voltage only okay after sometimes uh, suddenly it was raising and it was showing in dc machine 0.168 kind of thing so i really got shocked actually the main coil were uh, uh, no short and i thought it's uh, running but finally i identified actually that's not a uh, uh, working condition somewhere it was short okay where it was short that i'll explain you according to the schematic the pu201 which i see bq24780 so first we need to check the clr here actually uh, uh, what i checked you now so here it was 5 volts or 6 volts something was there so when i checked this mosfet here also same thing right so here actually it was uh, till here till v in section it was 19.5 and after that here some variation was there okay so due to uh, improper <coughs> gate voltage but i didn't check the gate voltage frankly i'm telling i didn't get the uh, check the gate voltage so next point wh where i checked so i got an information somewhere it's getting short because in this emission some fluctuation was going on so then directly I checked 3 volts section when I saw that portion someone uh, yeah the previous uh, technician did so many things so many things in the sense some capacitor he was removed because of short I think so this section here is the 3 volts section he checked and he rectified I think so it was there was no short in this okay so then 
finally i saw the bias pin number 8 section so what are those 8 section so completely he checked and he solved somewhere else okay some capacitor was removed so many capacitors not some uh, and finally he checked here 3 vlp 3 vlp was short okay 3 vlp was short and finally he has written because of this this one has short because when i remove this part and this is a jumper actually 3 vlp will become 3 vl right so once you remove the jumper then we come to know here this section will be okay and this section was short so when it was soldered when it was jumpered that time this particular ic was getting more heat it means it's a short which i told you know in the dcm it was going 0.168 something so i thought it's a normal voltage but it's not normal voltage it's a short voltage okay so anyway so did this jumper except this jumper everything was good this when i removed when i disconnected this jumper then pin number 2 was good and pin number 1 was short see i will tell you why that guy told like that we need to replace the motherboard okay that i will explain you there may be a reason right without that reason uh, nobody will tell like that anyway see 3 vl 3 vl here it has come here it has given okay next here see what section it is alc this is a audio ic right this is a alc audio ic then where it has come this one 3 vl this is the io right see the io this is very very important uh, section it 8226e 128 but one thing i noted here it was 192 not 128 okay so io it came right for io it's a ldo supply only will come right see this one it came so obviously here also you will get the beep correct this whole section what are the power supply are there in all section you will get the beep so here also i was getting beep hmm? and here also i was getting beep okay next where it has gone one is audio ic second one is uh, this io this is uh, io part i think so where it has gone ah, io part only next this one is no button 100k here also i checked only one side was the short and here there was no short actually this is a power button side no button and here down side on and off button that also was good only three wheel wheel section this hall sensor this one also i had a little doubt maybe u5 has the doubt i mean uh, maybe the issue because here on capacitor was there that i removed and checked so still the ground what is that vcc was getting ground beep sound was there but here there was no beep okay next here see in between resistor at as given zero but here also was short and where here vcc rst see guys everyone will check this is the one right vcc rst but the thing is 3 vl was short because of that the pd101 pin number 3 was short this one was good and this one was good this is the rtc section it's very important section see the vcc rtc if there is a short then everyone what they will think 100% motherboard we need to replace right okay anyway but this one was not short hmm? next that's it see guys now i'll come to the point 
here it's a 35 volts ic pu601 okay the main problem was here 3 vlp jumper finally what i did you uh, uh, already showed you one is a uh, alc means it has gone to audio ic and uh, then io it was gone and uh, ne next it was gone to what is that rtc section and no power button and uh, no button and power button also so where you will get uh, idea exactly this may be the issue a new file also was there hmm? so uh, what i did i confirmed all capacitors the supply which has gone the 3 vl the path 3 vl path what are the capacitors everything i checked that was good actually okay so finally what i did i just i changed only one thing then the problem got solved okay See, in this case, only two possibilities will be there. So, what I had experienced in previous uh, region, one is, this is the audio IC, because it has direct one, right? See, 3 VL is direct one, pin number 16. And next, where it will go? This one is, what? IO. These are the sections were short. I can't remove these capacitors and check. I can do that but the thing is I suspected this I.O. Once I removed this I.O. complete the VL section was good. So it was working fine even the CLR voltage it was 20 uh, when I removed this. So now I got the main uh, what is that main voltage step down and this one 3 VL and 3 volts also. See the main problem was with the io hmm? because of io has multiple pins that was showing short that's the reason uh, the rtc section also was getting short but not rtc vcc but that one that point we have to note down hmm, only the major section major ic is major major pins was short and second reason might have this one is a 192 pin means this particular io is too costly compared to 128 for example in indian rupees uh, 128 you may get around 400 500 uh, below that but the 192 io is there no that one in the market at present it's a minimum 1000 rupees to 1500 rupees it will vary depends on the vendor so maybe because of these two they, he might have gone uh, he might have told uh, the particular motherboard has shot and you never get it repaired and you need to go for replacement see the problem sometimes it will be very simple but the thing is you need to identify exact issue where it will be those things just you have to give some time to identify those things in peace of mind if you do the troubleshooting definitely you will win okay instead of changing the motherboard i replaced this io so 100 percent it started working very simple right so just i checked see one some si simple steps i will tell you first you need to check the clr second step is 3 volts ldo third step is 3 volts always these are the major points in dead conditions okay in this only you will get in this not only this this path in particular path source to destination you need to check where exactly where it may be the problem okay so sometimes you also may get this so that's the reason i am making this video so 100 percent i hope it will be useful to you okay the guys uh, sorry guys the thing is you should not do the mistakes without checking properly Please don't tell it to customer to replace the motherboard 20,000, 30,000, what amount it is. Hmm? So really it's a bad thing. So please directly you don't go for such a decision before checking. Right. So without checking, please don't go that. That is my suggestion. 
anyway i solved this problem in case if you have this kind of problems in especially legion legion you will get more uh, uh, issues okay high uh, number of uh, issues will come in legion lenovo legions okay in many laptops compared to others lenovo legion only i got multiple issues especially in 3 volts ldo and 3 volts always okay okay guys that's it if any doubts or anything else if you want so please put it in comment thank you thank you very much